Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power of 6 minus 64, this is equal to 0. So what are the values of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now we have x to the power of 6, we have x to the power of 6 minus 64. This is equal to 0. Now, we can express x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power 2 minus 64. Now, here we can express 64 as 2 to the power of 6. So, we have 2 to the power of 6. This is equal to 0. So, here we have x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 here subtract 2 to the power of 6 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 this equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b a minus b applying this identity we have that a is equal to x to the power of 3 b is equal to 2 to the power of 3 so this implies that a plus b this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 let's call this equation 1 and a minus b this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 let's call this equation 2 Let's start with case 1. In case 1, we have x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Define that this equation is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a plus b. Then we have a squared minus ab plus b squared. Applying this identity, then we have x plus 2. Here we have x squared, then subtract 2x, then plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Then this is equal to 0. So here we have two parts. The first part is x plus 2. This is equal to 0. The second part here is x squared minus 2x plus 4. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 2. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 and that c is equal to 4. So let's solve for x2 comma x3. Now to solve for x2 comma x3 we apply the quadratic formula that's minus b plus or minus the square root of here we have b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a substituting the values of a b and c this becomes minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 4 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so this implies that minus times minus 2 this is 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared this is 4 minus 4 times 4 this is equal to 16 everything here divided by 2 so we have here this is 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16 this is minus 12 over 2 now you find that we can express the square root of minus 12 
as now this is the same thing as the square root of this is 4 times 3 times minus 1 everything here over 2 so that now here we have this is 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 this is 2 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so you find that 2 is common here we can factor out 2 so that we have 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 cross the parentheses everything here divided by 2 so let's simplify here so that we have x2 comma x3 this is equal to this is 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 so this implies that x2 is equal to 1 plus i square root of 3 x3 is equal to 1 minus i square root of 3 now these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2 here, we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. So now from here, this equation here is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. Then a squared plus ab, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, then we have x minus 2, cross the parentheses here, then we have x squared plus 2x, then plus 2 squared, which is actually equal to 4, then this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 2. This is equal to 0. And the second part here is x squared plus 2x plus 4. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have x4 is equal to 2. x4 is equal to 2. This is a real solution. And the second part here is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to 2, and that c equal to 4. So we can solve for x5 comma x, x6 by applying the quadratic formula that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a so this implies that here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 4 everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared. This is 4 minus 4 times 4. This is actually equal to 16. Then everything here divided by 2. So that now here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16. This is minus 12. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of, we can express square root of minus 12 as 4 times 3 times minus 1, everything here over 2. So that now here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, this is 2, the square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have that 2 is common in the numerator here. So we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify here. So that now x5 comma x6 this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 so this again these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 
2. So this sums a total of six solutions. So we have a total of six solutions for this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.